So we bought this off of Timu. It is a replacement for the stock print head on the Bamboo X1 Carbon. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got the ceramic heater and a thermistor. A nozzle, another nozzle, third nozzle. However, it doesn't say what size any of these are. I'm going to have to look. Um, and then in here, we've got the print head itself, which looks absolutely identical to the X1 Carbon's print head. The only difference is the nozzles are changeable. So you don't have to change out the whole head if you want to change nozzle sizes. And then all the little silicone heater sleeve and everything in the box. That's cool. Here we ordered, these are 0.2 nozzles because we're replacing it so we can change to a 0.2 to try to do a little bit finer detail printing and some stuff. So we're going to move over to the printer and install it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the original print head off the bamboo lab. Very careful when taking these out. Not that one either. That's the one. And that's it. All out. Whole assembly. All right. Now we're over here. Let's take this apart and begin the changeover. The silicone sock is broke. But we don't need to take anything else off because we got brand new stuff for the whole thing. So I don't even know why I took that off. We're just going to... However, that was on there. <laughs> just going to leave that on there and set that to the side. We're going to get out the new one. There's the new one. All right. Here's the parts for the new one. Set that to the side. The first thing we're going to do, though, is because we got this 
to do point two. And what's in here, if you can see, is a point four. I know it's upside down, but you know it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this out. I'm going to take this nozzle out. Okay. Take the point four out, set it to the side, and we're going to grab one of these point twos. I bought two. This is a point two. It's one of those new weird nozzle designs. We're going to see how that works too. We're just going to thread this bad boy right back in there. Now you don't have to buy these special nozzles for this. Any standard nozzle will screw right into this. Just fine. No issues. So we'll go ahead and dump the rest of this stuff out. Put this off to the side. This is an extra nozzle. It's also a point two. Um, we're going to cut this rubber band. All right. Get rid of that. Now, this is the ceramic heater, and this is the thermistor. I do not know, where's the original at? How does the thermistor, oh, it gets held in by that clip as well. All right. So, grab a napkin here. Thermal paste. Put the heater on with I knew it was going to be a little much but that's all right just wipe off the excess And I made a mess. Not the first time, won't be the last. Insert the thermistor. Spin the wires up. Out the channel. Ah! No! Damn you! And now I've made a bigger mess. Still enough paste on that. I'm not doing a good job at this. And then make sure this wire's straight. There. Now it looks messy because I made a huge mess. Thermal paste crap everywhere. That was weird. Crap's just falling off the shelf over here in the background. I don't know if you can see that, but came out pretty good. And now we'll just. Plug the silicone sock on there. Even though, again, I'm making a horrible mess. Ridiculous. Let's 
You know, if it didn't have all this thermal paste everywhere, because obviously I can't do anything without being messy, um, it actually looked pretty decent. Now we'll go ahead and put the fan back on. So I see that we can change nozzles in these, but I also see how much of a pain it is to go through all that. And granted, you could just pull this out, pull the sock off, take that out, put a new nozzle in and put it on. But these are so cheap. Again, I got this off Timu. I think it was $12 for that whole kit. If I wouldn't have bought the extra nozzles, I may just buy two or three more of these. And that way I have a 0.4, a 0.2, maybe even try out a 0.6. But this is back together and ready to be installed in the printer. So let's move back over there and see what we get. All right, back at the printer. Let's uh, get this bad boy put back in. There we go. to take this and plug this little guy back in right there get him in that little channel we'll plug this guy in and we'll plug this guy in Yeah, I know, my fingers are way too fat for this crap. But, eventually they get the job done. And then we'll just push these wires off to the side. Get that one back in the channel where it belongs. Okay. Now we just need to switch this back. To this little guy. Go up here and line this up. Push that in there. Test it. Literally that easy. Now we're going to do a print and uh, see what it comes out like. All right. So now let's go over here to Bamboo Lab. Um, I have a benchy already set up. Let's go over here and let's change the nozzle. We need a new nozzle. How do we get a new nozzle? System presets. Oh, here we go, family lab. 
next one carbon. We need a point two. That's it. We're just gonna add them all. Boom. All right. Now we're gonna select the X one carbon point two nozzle. It's already there. We're gonna do it. We don't want to do it in high. We'll just do it standard quality. Let's do standard quality 1 point, 0.14 instead of the 0 0.10. Because it'll. Ah, what the hell? Let's do the 0 0.1 quality. All right. Over here. Slice. Two hours and 46 minutes because it's a 0 0.2 nozzle. Well, to hell with it. Let's print it. Let's see what it does. The nozzle diameter and preset is not consistent with the memorized nozzle diameter. Did you change the nozzle and preset? Uh, yes, confirm and update nozzle. We did change. So go ahead and send. All right, well, when it's done printing, we'll be back. So after changing over to the 0.2 nozzle that we got off of Timu, these are the results. There actually was the very first print we tried, which this was the very first print we tried. The first version was a catastrophic failure, and I'll put the pictures up on screen now about how bad it was. And it was so bad, I had to pull the whole thing completely apart, use a heat gun and everything to clean that whole nozzle completely off, pull all the plastic back off, get it all set back up, put the thing back in, and then this was actually our second attempt. And it actually came out really, really well. And I'll take it closer to this camera so you can really see the... detail in it because it like the details crazy this was good this was much better this has tons more detail in it so we printed it specifically for the minute little details in it and it came out really really well So I will have to say, <clears throat> for a cheap aftermarket nozzle from Timu, it was about 13 bucks for the thing for the, the nozzle the little set. I was surprised. It actually it works really, really well. I don't know why it catastrophically failed that first time. Maybe that was me, maybe that was something else. I, I have no idea. But it works now. It seems to be working very consistently. I'm very happy with the detail that came out in the star. Um, yeah, it makes me more apt to maybe purchase a little more aftermarket stuff for it and see how it goes. So uh, until next time.